Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily futures market review for the trading day ending Thursday, January 22nd. Firstly to gold futures and uh, here we see a white body candle forming once again following the very small black body candle that set the market up for a potential change of trend on the previous day's trading. And this follows three very strong uh, days where we had large white bodies and the buyers uh, in control of the market. For that day prior to today's trading we saw indecision enter the market and today we've seen the buyers take back control closing above the 1300 round number. There is an opportunity here for the buyers to continue with this uh, net momentum that they've built uh, for today's trading by forming a white body candle. Uh, the problem here uh, may be the 1309 level of resistance. Uh, the 1300 round number was always going to be an important level for the market to breach and we've closed above there in a fairly bullish manner. But 1309 uh, is the area that's been tested previously and there is a possibility of some selling coming in around this area. Now with the buyers uh, closing with control however and building this momentum if we do see early bullish activity up above 1309 we could uh, eventually see the market trading up to 1329 and that would be in line with the market being bullish in all three time frames by trading above the cloud, above the Kijun Sen and the Tengen Sen. Now, uh, gold futures are looking just a little bit overextended in, in the depth away from the Ichimoku cloud but there aren't any signs here that we're going to have a major uh, retracement of this uh, very strong first and second time frame uptrend at the moment um, and even if we do see the sellers come into this market as we saw for the last two trading days 1284.9 is a very solid level of support as is a previous level at 1273 and then at the 1266 level just looking at the uh, Tenkinson indicator, that's pointing up fairly sharply still and we've seen that for some time and it reflects the very solid upside momentum that we have in the short term time frame and suggesting that even if this market does come off and breach those um, areas of support that I've already mentioned, we're likely to find very strong buying coming in at the Tenkinson trading at the moment at 1262.7. Now just looking at the bands here with uh, gold futures and uh, the bands are very wide so we have a lot of volatility uh, that's coming to this market which uh, results from this very strong uptrending price action and it wouldn't uh, surprise to see the market attempt to remain revert. Now if it does the first level of support based on the bands we'll be looking at is 1272 the top band and then if the sellers are strong enough which I doubt they're going to be but if they uh, are strong enough and we see some strong selling coming into the market uh, uh, then 12.31 at the middle of the band should hold its very strong support but I suggest that the first level we should be watching based on the bands will be the top band at 12.72 now with the market still trading up above the uh, upper band it suggests that we uh, still have that very strong bullish bias in this market and with the buyers coming back into this candle it does suggest that there is a very good potential for the market to continue trading higher Moving next to NYMEX oil and here we see this market continuing to uh, congest between the uh, support around the 46.72 level and the resistance at the moment around the uh, Tenkinson indicator uh, trading at roughly about $48. Uh, we also have strong resistance just overhead at about 49.90 level. Um, important here is the fact that the market hasn't really been able to retrace this major first and second time frame downtrend that we've been in in a, a substantial manner and it suggests that obviously we all know that the sellers are very strong in this market but what we're not seeing is any strength from the buyers when they're attempting to come into this market. Over the past couple of weeks we've just seen two uh, white body candles where the buyers have attempted to take control but they haven't really been able to breach the uh, Tenkinson significantly and certainly haven't been able to breach the 4990 level. Now we do have a bearish market in all three time frames obviously and uh, an important test here is going to be this 46.72 level of support once again as will the 44.78 level and that was the uh, very close to the previous swing low and if the sellers are able to breach that in a very strong and uh, bearish manner we could see uh, 
NYMEX oil training down to the 3264 level. Now it mightn't do it all in one go, we could see some retracements on the way, but there isn't any significant support between 4478 and the 3264 region. So uh, if we do see strong selling coming in, there's a possibility of the market testing down to that area. Moving next to wheat futures, and uh, here we've seen a change of trend today. This last candle on the chart is the one that has completed trading. Change of trend to the downside, as uh, suggested, there was a possibility uh, from yesterday's uh, candle uh, with the trend changing to the upside, but the sellers taking control on that candle and being rejected very strongly from the Ichimaku cloud uh, once again for the fourth consecutive occasion. Well today we've seen more rejection from the cloud. Uh, this is the fifth consecutive occasion. The sellers take control once again as they did for the previous day's trading and changing the trend to the downside. So a very real possibility of the market continuing to trade lower and our target here um, for the next candle will be the swing low or just around that previous swing low at the 526 level of previous support and resistance. It uh, is a level where we've seen some uh, price appreciation from previously and has been a, an important level in the past and a level of both support and resistance. So uh, if we see the market breach that area in a strong bearish manner we could uh, see the market testing down to 516.50 or even then eventually down to the $500 level. Uh, round number. That would be in line with the market being bearish in all three time frames and we've now seen the market trading down below the Ichimoku cloud for the past uh, uh, more than a week or so and trading below each of the Ichimoku indicators so we have a bearish market in all three time frames and that's supported by the Chikaspan so suggesting that we uh, certainly have a great likelihood of seeing the sellers come back into this market. Just looking at the bands here with wheat futures and for the second consecutive trading day we've seen the market test to the lower band trading at 540.55 and being rejected from there in a fairly important manner with the sellers taking control on both of those candles and it suggests that there is good potential for continued downside. Now we uh, see the market continuing to trade down that side of the lower band as well and that suggests that we have a very strong negative bias in uh, wheat futures and suggesting a good possibility of the trend continuing to the downside. Moving next to corn futures and a change of trend today uh, um, with this current candle forming a lower high and a lower low. Sellers taking control as opposed to two days prior to today's trading we've seen the buyers attempting to take control. For yesterday's trading we saw the market test just through the Tenkan Sen indicator with the sellers uh, taking back control away from the buyers and uh, changing the trend today. Sellers uh, closing with control, strong commitment and taking out the 385 level of previous uh, support and resistance and resistance in the recent past. An opportunity here for the sellers to test down to the swing low here around the 376 region. Now with the market closing within the Ichimoku cloud we now have a neutral market in big picture terms um, with a bearish market in the medium and fast term time frames with the market trading below both the Kijin Sen and the Tenkan Sen and that bearishness is supported by the Chikas band. So uh, an opportunity here for the sellers to continue uh, uh, to the downside at least to this uh, low around 376. Just looking quickly at the bands here with corn futures and for the second consecutive trading day the market testing to within the bands and being rejected from there on a strong bearish candle. Uh, it does suggest uh, that we're likely to see the trend continue to the downside. We have a very strong negative bias in this market and as mentioned a test down to this swing low wouldn't surprise. But at the same time watching the potential resistance at the uh, up lower band around this 387 area. Next to US 30 year bonds and uh, here we see the market uh, continuing the trend to the downside. Another candle forming a lower high and a lower low. But what we've seen in this candle is very different than the previous and the one uh, two days uh, prior to that where the sellers had strong control. They built some downside momentum. For today's candle we've seen the formation of an indecisive spinning top type candle. And that suggests that there is potential for a change of trend back to the upside now. And that would be in line with the market being bullish in uh, the 
uh, longer term time frame and the medium term time frame and the market forming a series of higher peaks and higher troughs as we can see here which uh, signifies that we are in a second time frame uptrend. So we'll be watching the uh, high of this current candle very closely. It trades uh, roughly about the 149.29 region but very close to the 150.06 level of uh, previous uh, support and resistance, resistance in the uh, recent past. Um, one thing to watch here for is the support down below the 148.23 level. Uh, the market uh, was tested down through there today and was strongly rejected to the upside. Another thing to watch however is the resistance at the 10 cent indicator trading at the moment at 149.10 and for today's trading the buyers were not unable to breach that resistance there and uh, it was just a little bit lower for today's trading and that will be an important uh, area for uh, the buyers tomorrow and if we are able to breach up through there in a strong bullish manner we could easily test up to the 150.06 level but the story here is about the lack of strength of the sellers now about uh, the uh, sellers losing that control and that commitment that they had for the previous day's trading but uh, what we're not seeing here is the buyers taking back control we've closed uh, roughly around the midpoint level um, if close to it uh, if anything the buyers have very very weak control um, but uh, really not strong enough to control uh, to be uh, uh, that important and not strong enough to breach the tank and send indicator but the opportunity he is here for the buyers to uh, take back that control if they can breach this area at the tank and send now just looking at the bands here with the uh, 30 year bonds and important here and it does suggest that we may not see the uptrend eventuate and it's the market finding resistance at the upper band so whereas it was previous support and the market was trading outside of the upper band and we had a very strong bullish bias in this market we then saw the upper band fail to hold a support testing down through there in a bearish manner and for today's candle even though it's an indecisive candle and the sellers have lost control that upper band is held as resistance and what I'd like to see is the market test that upper band and close outside there in a bullish manner if we are going to see this trend continue to the upside so that's going to be a very important test for the buyers if they do come into the market and that upper band at the moment trades at 149.19 now to the downside if we do see the trend continue uh, potential support at the middle of the bands trading at 147.10